First. <laughs> that was not very smooth. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I've been looking under rocks and breaking locks. Just trying to find you. I've been like a maniac, insomniac. Five steps behind ya Tell them other girls They can hit the exit check please Cause they finally find a girl of my dream It's much more than a Grammy award That's how much you mean to me You could be my it girl Baby you the sh girl Loving you could be a crime Crazy how we did girl This is it girl Give me 25 to life I just wanna rock all night And put you in the middle of my spotlight You could be my it girl Playing reruns Every chance I get I'ma turn you on You could be my it girl Baby you the shit Oh yeah. yeah. you could be a crime Crazy how we I had a rare memory with John and Erica Is when we went to not so very far We, we rode like all these fun roller coasters And overdosed on Chinese food And then um, I rode on this ride And John actually fished off my glasses From like this giant pond So I was really thankful for that Or else I would have been blind <laughs> <laughs> My favorite memory of John and Erica was in our first year. I remember the first year we were here, and Erica was just, she was so sweet, and she tried to include me. And she knew how much, like, at the time, this was around November, so I was like sad and lonely. She really wanted me to include me into whatever they did. And the three of us, me, John, and Erica, went to downtown Riverside by, um, what is that place called? Machine Inn. Yeah, mission in to see the, the Christmas lights at the Mission Inn Hotel and we went ice skating, not really, we watched other people ice skate, got hot chocolate, took pictures in front of the Christmas tree, and not once did I feel like a third wheel or awkward, like they were so sweet, they, they included me, they wanted to, you know, make sure I felt comfortable and happy, and John was like making an effort to get to know me better and he was making a lot of conversation and questions, that's my favorite memory of them. Aww. My favorite memory about Sean and Erica is when we went hiking at Holders Crook. When all of us went, but, uh, yeah, it was really fun. And I remember I almost slipped, and then Erica tried to save me. <laughs> so it was just uh, both of them were like holding me. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> the first time John met Erica, that, that would be it. The first time John met. John and Erica met, and we met like Sarah and everything. That was cool. Like, it was just cool because you know John is John, and he just kind of rolled up. And I was talking to Erica, and he just kind of rolled up, and he was like, "Oh, hi." Kind of sent off to the back and being quiet. So that was my favorite memory of the initial moment of met. I can still see it in my head right now. And I have one memory that I really loved about like the trip. It was when we were jumping off the mountain and a cliff into the water and Erica was so scared because she hates jumping and hates heights. But he encouraged her. It took her like 10 minutes. He's like, oh, I'll jump with you. Oh, he didn't do this? No. Oh. He was like, okay, let's jump together. Let's hold hands. And then she finally jumped and it was just so cute. <laughs> So that's all I have to say. Love. Yay! So my favorite memory of John and Erica is actually New Year's Day 2012. And they came in from the airport, exhausted, a day late. And I had the little sign that said congratulations in Hawaiian. And they both kept asking me, how did you know? How did you know? And I just knew. And then we drove home and John sat in the front seat and gave me every single detail about the entire day into the night from asking her father to, for permission to actually asking Erica at midnight. And Erica sat in the back seat 
just staring out with this happy smile. And I've seen her smile that way so many times since then. That's my favorite memory. Sway, do I need powder? You're just fine. Oh, All right. Oh, okay. One of my fondest memories of uh, Jonathan is actually um, in anatomy lab because we were all in the same class, anatomy, and we were taking our group photo and everyone was getting lined up and everything and, you know, we knew we were missing somebody. I was just looking around, I was like, there's someone missing, I know someone should be here. And right when we're about to take a picture, look to the top right, you see Jonathan Kirkwood rolling down <laughs> down the steps in his green scrubs late to a picture and that was one of the main uh, or craziest moments I saw with Jonathan. For Erica, it's just her just running around, just see her running around everywhere in Loma Linda, whether it's to class, uh, gym, that's Erica, always just running around. Congratulations guys. I gotta go fast because apparently the battery is dying. But I was trying to think of like stuff to say, but they were all kind of selfish, like how John is cool about playing games with me, and how Erica kind of like got me through an attic like the first year. Um, but I really cherish those those things because they're not. I don't know. I just cherish them. And I I just remember one thing about Erica when you we were going from Big Lots to try to get something else and we were running in the parking lot and it was dark and she started running faster than me and started screaming help, help, help and I got freaked out because people could have thought something bad but John, thanks for playing frisbee with me in games and I have this message it's kind of like a yearbook type thing but that has Aaron, the female Aaron, written on it. Love you guys. are complete opposite people, but you make like the perfect match together. Mm -hmm. You've got Erica who's go, 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 high speed all the time, and then John who's on Hawaii time. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that you guys have found the person who completes. Uh, what I love about uh, John and Erica is the fact that they have the same hobby of running, and that's something they're going to cherish for the rest of their life. And what I love about John and Erica? And just the fact that they're like the, the power couple. I think I always talk to them about my relationship issues. I have a lot of those. Uh, <laughs> no, John and Erica always are always there. You guys are always there to, uh, to like just listen and give me advice and stuff like that. And it's, it's, nice. it's nice to have best friends around you to talk to you about stuff. Best friends who are wise. Yeah, and easy to talk to. So that's, that's awesome stuff for like uh, John and Erica. I love how you guys complete each other. When you watch each other's mannerisms and just every time you interact, you can really see how like you really help each other out and really just tell brought together by God. And just don't forget that. Keep him number one in your life because he's really going to help you guys out a lot and just keep your relations smooth. So. Hi, John and Erica. I just wanted to wish you congratulations on your engagement and your soon-to-be wedding. Uh, some things that I enjoy about you guys is Jonathan. I enjoy your spirituality and um, being able to bring that into your guys' relationship. I really admire that. And Erica, I like how um, I think that you guys balance each other out a lot. Um, Jonathan's really laid back and um, I feel like you kind of get things going with your relationship and um, just organize and things like that. So you guys are a perfect match for each other and I wish you all the best. <laughs> Um, I'm going to say something about Erica. Something that I love about Erica is that um, she travels with like her house everywhere she goes. Like She has five million bags everywhere she goes and she always ends up leaving everything so you're always having to pick up after her and everything like that. So. So what, I love, what I love most about John and Erica is that you don't feel like a third wheel when you're hanging out with them. And I know this from first hand experience. Hi John and Erica. Um, we're 
we're very excited for you guys. Um, I think one thing that I'll never forget about you guys is how often you lose things. Um, which, you know, spending three months with Erica in the car to field work was quite the adventure. Almost every morning there was something missing, but apparently you guys made it to and from Malawi, Malawi with your passports, so um, that's a good sign. <laughs> But yeah, I'm sure you guys are going to do great, and we're really excited for you guys. Um, yeah, it's been fun getting to know you guys uh, over the last couple years. Um, really excited for you guys, and um, hope we are able to stay in touch. Um, hopefully we'll come out and visit you guys in Texas or wherever you guys end up, because um, I'm sure you guys will be well-traveled uh, soon. So congrats again, and I uh, look forward to celebrating with you guys. I really, I loved watching you guys in Malawi, like every minute you guys were together and you could just really see how much you guys love each other, so it's just inspiring to see a couple like that who's so young and who has faith like that. I don't know, it was amazing to watch and it's like, I want that one day, it was so cute. <laughs> every single time I see you guys on campus, you guys are like super chill. <laughs> like super duper duper chill and it's like a pea in a pod where you guys just kind of fit together and um, just totally at peace and like smile together and have joy together and laugh and um, just like every single time I always saw you guys it was always just so peaceful and like so like-minded and you can really sense I could really sense kind of the unison and the union between you guys um, yeah and I love like each of you are you guys I never imagined you guys to get together because Erica is like out the door, like woo! And then John's like, yeah. Stress? Stress. Mm. So I love that kind of like <laughs> balance together. But it works perfectly, together. I think. Seriously, like, it works so well together. A really bubbly girl, and then there's this, this mellow, like kind of hippie ish boy, kind of. <laughs> Congratulations! Yes! <laughs> in heaven. 